everybody for coming and uh, before we begin, I want to acknowledge that we are gathered on the traditional territory of the Anishinaabek, the Wendig and the Mississaugas of the New Credit Peoples and we're very pleased to be on this land today. I want to thank all of the members of the media for joining us today and, to, and I am joined by my colleagues, uh, Jean Yip, the member of Parliament for Scarborough Agent Court, Gang Tan, the member of Parliament for Don Valley North, Sean Chen, the member of Parliament for Scarborough North, uh, would have been here this morning uh, and isn't able to get here, So, uh, but I, I know he is with us and uh, each of us, each of us, including myself, the member of Parliament for Markham Thornhill, we all have the privilege and honor of representing ridings with a large number of Chinese Canadian constituents. And we all know that the current approach to cannabis does not work. It has allowed criminals and organized crime to profit while failing to keep cannabis out of the hands of our Canadian youth. In many cases, it is easier for our kids to buy cannabis than it is cigarettes. That is why the Government of Canada, after extensive consultation with law enforcement, health and safety experts, and the hard work on the task force on cannabis, introduced legislation to strictly regulate and restrict access to cannabis. The Act, also known as C45, creates a strict legal framework for controlling the production, distribution, sale, and possession of cannabis in Canada. And today, we have with us Bill Blair, the Parliamentary Secretary to the Minister of Justice and Attorney General of Canada, and also to the Minister of Health. And Parliamentary Secretary Blair will update you and take questions about the Government of Canada's approach to regulating and restricting access to cannabis. Parliamentary Secretary Blair, if you want to join me and, uh, and our colleagues, maybe what we'll do is we'll just join you up here. Let's give Bill a hand. I'm very, very pleased to join my, my colleagues uh, here today with, with you all today uh, to talk a little bit about the legislation that we've brought forward, but I'd like to begin with why. I think it's very important to explain to all Canadians, and I know that there are concerns within the Chinese community, and, and it's important that we explain precisely why the Government of Canada is changing the way in which we control this drug in our society. And as Mary has already told you, the current system of cannabis control, marijuana control in Canada, is failing us. It is not protecting our children. We have the highest rates of, of marijuana use among our children of any country in the world. And this is unacceptable to us because marijuana can be a very dangerous drug for young people. It can affect the development of their brain. It can affect their, who they hang around with and how successful they will be in life.